Привет! Это College Russian. Меня зовут по-английски Джейни, по-русски Жанна. Today we are going to share another interesting fact about the Russian language. For all of you language nerds who like to know weird little tidbits about languages. So, all this time you've been living your life thinking that there are six cases in Russian. And you are correct, there are officially six cases in Russian. Now, if you've ever gone to learn another Slavic language, like Ukrainian or Czech, you'll notice that they have a seventh case that they use in everyday usage. It's called the vocative case, zvatilny padiaz, paruski. And this is the case that you use when you're calling out somebody's name um, or just addressing someone. So, for example, in Ukrainian, you might say something like "Privit mi brate" or "Lublu tebe Ukraino." Those are all using the vocative case because you're calling out to the person. Um, so, in Russian, they don't officially have the vocative case. They did have it a long time ago, and now all that's left are a few phrases here and there that are in the vocative case. So, for example, did you know that you're using the vocative case in Russian when you say phrases like "Господи," <gasps> right? So you're calling out to the Lord. You're using His name in the vocative case. Another example where you're using the vocative case is "О Боже мой," right? So you're saying. Oh my God, right? You're calling out to God, and then so you're getting the vocative case. And then if you read old religious texts, um, especially like the Bible, for example, you might notice some of the vocative case, for example, in the Lord's Prayer. You're using the vocative case. Uh, the other time you're using vocative case in Russian, which you may not know you're doing, is anytime you shorten somebody's name and take the final vowel off. So for example, Natash Smatri. Right, so you, you called Natasha, Natasha. You're technically putting that into the vocative case. Um, mom, daj mnie. You're taking the vowel off the end of mama, putting it into vocative case. So that's just a random little fact about Russian. Technically, there are more cases than just the six, but they've sort of melted away over time or they've blended into other cases. Now, if you know of any other Slavic languages that have the official vocative case, right below. I'm only aware of, as of right now, I'm only aware of Ukrainian and Czech, but I'm sure there are other ones that use the vocative case in everyday usage. So now you know that, and you can be the super fun, interesting person that corrects the teacher when they tell you that there are six cases in Russian. There's technically more. That's all for you language nerds today. I hope you enjoyed that.